Welcome back to another episode of Off Grid Overlander. Today, really, you just had to shake that thing, huh? Welcome back to another episode of Off Grid Overlander. My name's Leon. The project that we're going to be working on today is dealing with these rims. The issue that I have is I've got to clean up some of this, uh, I've got to clean up the ceiling ring. And as you can see down here, which I've already done, um, the seat for the bead. Uh, today we're only going to be working with one half of the rim. The other half is sitting on the ground. Uh, it's probably not enough time to do everything I want to do uh, in one day, so I'd rather just go ahead and deal with this one because I've already got it half done and it's already um, mostly bare metal so I want to get it protected. We are going to start with uh, sandblasting some remaining sections uh, in the ceiling, the ceiling surface here for the o-ring and then we're going to clean it up with some alcohol and then we're going to throw some powder coat on it and I'll show you an alternate method of doing it if you don't have an oven. So, stay tuned, we'll get started. All right, the section that I want to address is right in here. Uh, you can see some remaining rust, but most, for the most part, all the rest of it's nice and clean. You know, I already sandblasted and prepped most of this already so it wouldn't take near as long on video. So, we'll go ahead and move this rim over to my sandblasting pit and get started. Much better, but I still need a little more work right here. fairly clean it's not perfect but there's enough rust and stuff down in here that I'm not going to be too horribly worried about as long as I can keep uh, most of the rust and water off of it because these are notorious for rusting and then losing their seal because of that rust because all that sits in here is an o-ring in a very small one like using Eastwood's dual voltage powder coating uh, system to uh, get the powder on it and I've got high gloss black in it right now and that will be for the ceiling surface down to the uh, beads, the seat for the bead everything up and the inside I'm going to be doing in wrinkle black because I need the high, uh, high gloss black for uh, sealing and I'm just going to use the wrinkle black for protection because this thing is going to be beat up. Well, not really protection but more uh, to hide any scratches and anything like that. So, because this is a, this is going back on a six wheel drive vehicle that goes everywhere. So. I'm going to go start up the generator. We're going to try to throw it on. 
I have the box right now set up on the high setting, the high voltage 25, 25 kilovolt setting. And hopefully that'll get us into the uh, into the seal here or into this ceiling area without any issues. Um, actually, I'm gonna try volt, low voltage, which is 15k. I'll try that one first. I gotta throw some masking tape on to uh, keep part of it clean. Let me move this out the way. Quarter inch uh, for the ceiling surface area. So I'm just going to roll it up to roundabouts. It doesn't have to be perfect. Real quick. And we'll end up taking it off. We'll end up taking the tape off before I apply the heat. Is this mask and tape will just burn. left to do is let it cool down and then I can sandblast the other surfaces it'll be uh, wrinkled black which is going to be this whole side and then all the inside as you can see it can be done outside in an uncontrolled environment with what you got around because I ain't got an oven big enough for this thing and I don't, I don't think there's very many people who do. So, just figured I'd show you how to do it so that you can get something done for your truck or anything else that you have as big as this using just your powder gun and an X and uh, um, one of them heaters, one of them radiant heaters. So, till next time. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe so that you can catch more videos like this. And then uh, be tackling probably, I don't know, I'll either do the gloss black on this surface or, actually yeah, that's probably what I will do. That way I don't have to change the gun like four times. <clears throat> but I ain't gonna do that today. So, see you next time. Hit that subscribe button and uh, share it with your friends. Take care.